Minnesota goes to 31 and 20, and they've lost two in a row, which is their lose their high losing streak for the season is two straight. They lose by 13. They've lost four straight at Golden State. And the Warriors, Warriors are 28 and three now when they shoot 50 percent or better, Ernie, and they shot 54 percent tonight. That, that would be an interesting stat for the crew to look up. What would be? You said they've lost four in a row at Golden State. Yeah. How many teams they have not lost four straight at Golden no, State? No, no, who actually have lost four straight to Golden State? State? Either or. We'll know the answer for both if you find yeah, out yeah. one. <laughs> anyway, uh, something on the dog. JBL three point performance. All time three pointers you at, made. Jimmy? Jamal Crawford and I'm Steph not, Curry. I'm in playoffs. You put me in the playoffs, I'll be up there. Both in the top Agreed. 20 count in three-pointers made in their career. Hey, I have a question, Ernie. Vince Carter got to 2074? Well, he yeah. got to last 2000 the last three years. You know, what's, the, uh, <laughs> what's, the, what's your point of discussion that it, you'd it, like it's to? Just, I just thought of this when Shaq said about, you might as well give him the trophy. I just remember when Mark Jackson was the coach, and I, he invited me up to coach see Golden State. And he's like, Kenny, you see the guys in this locker room? I'm like, yeah, they're going to be meeting the president one day. I'm like, what do you mean? What, there's a social issue going on? I like, know they're going to win a championship. And at that time, I did not see it. He's, and he was talking about Draymond and how Steph, and he's like, they're going to be the best basketball players in the world. And I, you, and when, when Mark was there and you said that, I'm looking at him like, he's just talking because he's their coach. He, they, he can't evaluate that type of talent and think that they, and they are. And then you add Kevin Durant to that. It, it's just an unbelievable thought process. But Again, Mark Jackson saw that, obviously, and, and, and his management saw that then. But I did not see that when he was telling me that story. You know, the fact that they trust each other, they rely on each other, and like I said earlier, they generally don't care who gets most of the points. You can tell that they love playing with each other, and, you know, they play with such joy, and they play the right way. You know, it's a lot of teams with a one, two, three punch, and if one guy holds on the ball too long, it messes up the floor of the offense. But these guys are free, free flowing, the ball bing, bing, bing. Yeah, and it's the unselfishness yes. there, too, because you see a guy like Durant who's got a wide open three and says, no, but Clay's got the wide open, even the more wide open three in the Man. corner and hits him. It's, uh, That's too many options. Huh? It's, too many options. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how, I mean, how are you going to contend with that? How are you going to cover all that, Chuckster? Well, number one, I think you still got to try to beat him up down low. I mean, you got to make Draymond and Kevin wear down. You got to beat him four times. You're not going to outshoot him, but you go down low like Carl Anthony Towns. He's going to have an advantage against Draymond and Kevin down low, and that might wear them down in a seven game series. And that, or they might get in foul trouble. But you're not going to just outscore these guys. I think, uh, I tell you what, it'd be an interesting matchup if they played the Pelicans with Anthony Davis and Boogie uh, down low. I mean, because nobody's going to stop Boogie down low. Uh, and Anthony Davis can guard out on the floor, and he can go down low. It's going to take a team with some big guys, at least one that can dominate and get those two guys in foul trouble. How, you know, you, I, the only team I remember in a while that played fast and still played inside was your Phoenix Suns team. Yeah. What did you guys consciously do to get you the ball in the post but still score close to 115 points a game? Well, number one, we worked inside out. I, I so I want the double team because I wanted to get Dan Marley going. I'm looking for Sed Sabalos. I'm looking for Ola Miller, you know, Mark West, guys like that. You have to have a combination of both. This team is unique. They don't have a low post guy. No. They're going to rely on those three guys to score. And I don't think there's – you're not going to bring three other guys to score like those three guys. But they've got the guard on the other end of the floor. First of all, you can, you can let Draymond shoot. But you got to make him play defense. You got to make Kevin play defense. So you're saying you don't slow it down, but you got to break. You speed up to go inside. Uh, you, you you have to mix it up. Like Minnesota, they got Draymond or Kevin trying to guard Carl Anthony Town, and he's standing up here to half court. What advantage is that? Let's uh, let's.